Do credit inquiries affect my FICO score? And if so, how much do credit inquiries affect my FICO score? What up, you got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And in this brief video, I want to talk about inquiries as it relates to your FICO score. Now, I will start out by saying this. There are two types of inquiries. You got the soft inquiries and your hard inquiries. Soft inquiries don't affect your score. An example of a soft inquiry is you yourself pulling your report to see what's going on on your report, check your scores. That's considered to be a soft inquiry. Another soft inquiry could be just an uh, entity that you're already in a relationship with, a bank, a creditor, and they're just kind of pulling your profile to kind of see where you are in the event that they want to offer you something else, another one of their products. That's typically a soft inquiry because you're already in a relationship with them. So those are just some things to consider. A hard inquiry is you going out applying for some type of funding. Example, car note. If you're trying to apply for some type of car, you may go to a dealership and they may run your credit 10 times. That's a hard inquiry. All of those are hard inquiries. I know people say, you know, as long as it's within a 30 day window, you're good to go, but you still got to be mindful of that. I did a video teaching people how to avoid all of those inquiries that the car dealerships put on your report and, you know, the benefits of it. So that being said, that's something you really want to check out. Go back and find it uh, just in case I don't link it in this particular video. In addition to that, another thing that can be a hard inquiry just is applying for a credit card, applying for a loan, applying for a mortgage. All of the things that require you to put your information out there and see if that creditor wants to lend you any money is considered to be a hard inquiry. So you don't want a whole lot of hard inquiries because when it comes to creditors and lenders and people who are going to offer you funding, they don't want to see that you've been applying with every Tom, Dick, and Harry in order to see if you can qualify for something because that makes you look high risk. So just keep that in mind. Now, it's a way to go about it to where if you did apply for a certain amount, then you could have, you know, minimal inquiries, but just understand that hard inquiries do affect your score. Now, the other question is how do they affect your score? Well, that's 10% of your overall credit profile. Now, I know a lot of people may say, well, that's not a big deal, inquiries. And don't get me wrong, it's not as big of a deal as the other 90, but it still plays a part. Because in the game of credit, it's all about acquiring as many points as possible. If it's 550 points on the board, just because one is only 10% of that doesn't make it any less valuable. That's like saying that free throws don't matter in basketball games. In our actuality, they do. Yeah, it may be one point at a time opposed to the two and the three in comparison, but you got to understand that free throws wins games. So if you understand that, then you understand that minimal increase wins games as well. And that 10% does matter. I've seen clients be able to get certain inquiries removed and by getting those inquiries removed, it increased their points a certain amount and got them over the 700, got them over the 600 hump. So you got to understand the power in that. Now, as it relates to inquiries and how long they stay on your report, in the FICO world, anything less than 12 months is actively affecting your score. Once it gets beyond the 12 months, it's kind of no big deal. However, they will stay on your credit for two years and sometimes even longer than that. We have clients that have two years plus inquiries on their report and some people say don't bother don't don't mess with them but in addition to whatever else i'm disputing i also want to clean those items up as well just in case a creditor or somebody that they're looking to seek funding from misses the fact that it was more than two years ago i just like to have it clean it helps with the profile sometimes it even still helps with the points believe it or not but typically within a year has the biggest effect beyond that one year doesn't have that much of a, an effect and even if you had an inquiry that you know you apply for. If you didn't get a established relationship with that entity, you still may want to consider getting that inquiry removed because you don't have an open account with that particular creditor. So hopefully this is helpful from the standpoint of FICO as it relates to inquiries. Hopefully you can take it, run with it. Definitely don't forget to grab your free credit class if you have not already so it can put you ahead of the game in knowing how credit works and how you can take full advantage and know what exact things you need to do in order to start moving your credit in the right direction by understanding all of the factors that go into credit restoration. That's all I got for this video. Mr. Smith, signing out. Salute.